What's up badass Black Desert Mobile fans? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make at least 100 million silver from the market every single day. That's right, every single day. This does take some time to master and knowing exactly how this works is vital to making some easy silver. I have started this market analysis series, which I am doing weekly, and I highly advise you tune in so you know what's hot to buy and what's not. This could possibly be the most important video to watch every week. Making silver in Black Desert Mobile is vital for growing your account. Silver can be used to purchase almost everything, including black pearls. Silver is also necessary for leveling and crafting or even enchantments. There is many areas throughout Black Desert Mobile that require silver and a significant amount. Now is the time to earn some extra silver every day all of it requires some basic math and you do have to check the market every few hours throughout the day to snipe the best deals possible. Before we get into the good stuff, if this is your first time on my channel, you are missing out. Be sure to check out the description down below for additional badass Black Desert Mobile content. You won't be disappointed. I will go over in detail all categories of the market, but first let me show you exactly how to earn some of that sweet, sweet silver from the market. You must take into account the 30% sales tax when trying to make some silver. This strategy currently works for main hand and offhand weapons. No defensive gear can be profitable at the moment. I did check every piece and it just wasn't worth it. It is also important to remember you can only sell five pieces of gear every day. So it's important to maximize the profits with these five pieces. I'm gonna show you how I buy three two slot pieces of gear from the market. I then convert them to Laverto and sell it and make 40 million profits. Let's break it down. First, you want to check the market for the cheapest two slots that you can find. Typically, it's the most popular classes. I managed to find three two slots for a total of 78 million silver at cost. This process does require residue. However, you can easily spend some of the profits on cheap yellow gear to get that residue back and feed your beast in the process so it's a win-win okay so i crafted a laverto axe as they cost the most and there's currently none on the market i know you're thinking wouldn't most people just do what you're doing and buy three two slots and craft it for the same cost you would think that yes and i know not everyone watches youtube and i know not everybody does the math sometimes they just want that piece of gear right then and there so i do sell both of these axes for about 170 million roughly with 30% tax, that's 51 million cut off the top line. So I make 119 million silver from that axe. I paid 78 million for the three two slots, which is a little over 40 million profits from just that one axe. Now, if I did that five times a day, that would be 200 million silver. And the title of the video isn't how to make 200 million silver a day because I'm a realist and I understand that not every single one of these pieces of gear is going to sell every day. Sometimes you have to pull it from the market and repost it again, and you don't make as much. But even, I have 40 million silver wiggle room. Even if I sold that piece for 130 million, I'd still break, I'd break even. I wouldn't make as much, but I'd at least break even. A lot of the two slot, or a lot of the Lavertos at the moment are going for at least 150. So I could drop that, that ax down to, a, you know, 150 and sell it right away probably and make those at least 20 million profits. So I'm a realist. You could potentially make up to 200 million silver if you did this method and maybe even more, uh, but we're gonna stick to 100 million. Uh, this process does work for with some offhands as well. It does require sniping again for the correct combos. I found selling Gin Lavertos or Rosars was not worth it. Always better to sell the regular Lavertos and Rosars for best profits. So that's how you can make some silver from the market. Next, I'm gonna take a look at all sections of the market so we can see some increases and decreases that have incurred. Surprisingly, there has been some swings. You could save some serious silver here if you pay attention. Up first, we're gonna take a look at the main hand one slots. I have five data points for all categories. And if you notice for week over week on the right, all one hand weapons have been increased in cost, some as high as 63%. The Camasylvan sword and the amulet come in at the highest average of 28 million for each one hand on average. With two slots, it's been a different story. The axe and lancia have increased over 100% each. 
while the Longbow Staff, Kriegsmesser, and Saith have all decreased in cost. The Axe and Lancia costing the most at $86 million on average. As far as Gin Liberto, the prices haven't fluctuated quite as crazy. The lowest is the Longsword at $132 million, and the most expensive is the Staff and Iron Buster at $272 million on average. Week over week uh, have seen some increases as well, while others have decreased. And like I said earlier, I typically don't focus on Gin Libertos when buying or selling on the market. They have been oversaturated since the cursed event. Moving on to offhands, all have seen some solid increases in cost with the exception of the Talisman and Van Brace coming down. The ornamental not, not costing the most at a 31 million silver on average, and the cannonball is actually coming in as the cheapest. So if you're going to snipe sub weapons to sell, I would go for the cannonballs if you can find them. The two slots have all increased with the exception of the dagger, seal, and magic tome. The cheapest two slot is the magic blade at 49 million on average, and the most expensive is the shield or ornamental knot coming in at 120 million. That's over double the average of a magic blade. So again, when crafting two slots for silver, craft ornamental knots and shields. Be wary though. If a lot of you start crafting these pieces of gear and flooding the market, they might not sell as quickly. So pay attention to how saturated each item is before you craft it. With Jin Rosar, there has been some increases as much as 34%, while some have decreased uh, about a 10% week over week. The cheapest Jin Rosar is the Feather at 493 million, which is still almost double the cost of Jin Laverto. So sub weapons are almost double the cost of main hands. The most expensive is a tie between a few, as the highest cost they allow for Jin Rosar is all capped for these weapons. Moving on to defensive gear, I will rapid fire through these a bit quicker. As noted earlier, these do not generate profits, and if they do, it's marginal. Focus on selling five main hand and or offhand weapons. Up first is the helmet one slot. These have been steadily increasing for the most part. As of this week, we do start to see them each reach their cap and start to work their way back down in cost. So a week or two, these could be back to normal prices. I do expect to see these drop as the market is more saturated with these now as well. You can see the helmet two slots, they have all decreased in price week over week. Going from 88 million to 79 million in some cases. I again feel this trend will continue. For armor one slots week over week has seen a decrease in cost on all gear. Some as high as 11% on the MoRig one slots. You will see these continue to drop in prices now that a lot of people have their POG gear and they're, at ma they're able to complete that max level. I believe these prices will drop to normal rates until the next season of POG is near. Same story with the two slots all dropping week over week. You'll notice the trend. All defensive gear is starting to come down in price. The gloves are no exception. The Taritas have come down almost 40% already, and the Ultimate Grunnel have dropped almost 70 million silver week over week. The shoes are all starting to drop in prices as well, with the exception of the Azarian, which actually has come up in price by 47%. Now, even though it has seen its 47% increase, the Azarian is still not the most costly two slot. So the increase is merely to align the prices of the gear. Moving on to accessories, all accessories have stayed the same in price with the exception of the Regal accessory. Uh, all coming down in price again. Week over week you see the Regals have been steadily dropping since August 2nd. Blackstones continue to see a rise in costs. The armor costing the most and the good Blackstones reaching as high as 160000 each. That's over double what they sold for July 31st. So if you've been stockpiling, we're almost to the point where they could be capped. So you might want to start selling them soon. Remember, the defensive gear has now come down in price, which means that these will follow a few days behind. That is merely a prediction, but I do, th do think that these are almost at their peak in cost. There is a lot of, on the market now as well, so saturation will bring the cost back down. For weapons... Same story here, they have increased week over week. These are also becoming more saturated and I do believe these will start to decrease in cost as well over the next week. In final thoughts, take advantage of the main and offhand weapons, find the best one slot and two slot deals and convert for max profits. 
Most main hand and offhand weapons have increased in price week over week. Meanwhile, most defensive gear is starting to come back down. Therefore, you can start to buy defensive gear cheaper in a week or so. You can also buy cheap weapons from the market now and maybe even sell them at a higher cost later since the prices are increases. I'm not sure I like to try. Uh, and I do like to try and sell at least five things a day uh, as we are capped on what we can sell. That covers everything in this week's market analysis video. I appreciate you guys and gals stopping by. If you've learned something, I would appreciate if you would pass on the message about the benefits of this video series as I am trying to grow it and I would love to add additional servers so I could get a much more in-depth data on all the servers, uh, but that would require some help. With that being said, I will see you next time.